All right, hey guys, welcome again to Simplex 4010 Test 2 Gen Text. Um, I'm still trying to figure out a good schedule to start putting these out once I really kind of get in the flow of the system. Still figuring things out, you know, still learning. Um, so, schedule for this is still going to be uh, kind of regular. I'm still going to try and get them out once a week ish. Um, but I got some modules so I can really start putting different pull stations up. Um, we have a lot of dogs over today, so if you hear barking like that, that is what that is. So we're going to open up the panel today. We are dog sitting, and they are just so loud. Oh my gosh, is someone trying to kill us? Or is it the mail? The world may never know. Let's open it up. There's nothing different. Nothing different with the panel at all. Uh, nothing... Too different with the uh, all the wiring in there, and uh, hopefully soon there will be, but that's a surprise for later. So starting off, we have my ADT 5060S dual action push then pull pull station. This also takes the Simplex B key, so it's nice to have, you know, with your panel. Um, it is 0.9. Going up, we have the Gentex Commander 3 set at continuous horn and 75 candela. Then over here is the Gentex Commander 2 continuous horn set at 75 candela. If we come down here is my Faraday F1 GT Chevron set at 0.3. That's kind of cool on a simplex panel. I got my reset tool for it. Leave that there. If we come back around going up, I finally have that heat smoke detector head up there. M1-4 is the smoke and dash 5 is the heat. The head is a 4098-9754 dual smoke and heat head. Is this going to do what I want? I'm going to wait until it starts beeping, or not beeping, blinking, before I go on. Okay, got one of them. I want to see both of them. I think it's still... There we go. Okay, it's starting up. And uh, we'll go in here. In here. Up here, now I have a smoke detector. It is my other Simplex 4098. 9714 smoke head. Yeah, I know. And this is point one. Command center. Um, I did actually have to put one of my modules in here because the back box for the 5060S, the back of the pull station is so deep that I couldn't fit the pull station and the module in the box. Um, so that's why that's like that. Then if we come over here, we have my Firelight BG12L, and then my Gentex Commander 2 remote strobe. That point over there is still empty as I need to get more modules, so I can keep adding on more points. And I'm going to say I have started dreaming up little uh, plans and sketches uh, for a cool addition to this panel that I think will be kind of cool. It will be somewhere around, like, here. It will be kind of cool. Um, I've figured it all out. I really just kind of need to get supplies and stuff. But, uh, we don't really need to do anything with the panels. We're not going to be going into it for walk tests or anything, so we don't need to log in. We'll just be doing basic level 1 functions. So, I say let's pull the 5060S. Here we go. Oh. I said these are continuous horn through the panel. It's being code, coded on fast march. It sounds kind of stupid, but I don't know. Let me go see uh, commander on fast march. Not slow march, but fast march. Here we go.
Now what's cool is that the Commander 2, oops, the two Commander 2s that I have, the strobes are in sync, but they're not in sync with the Commander 3. It goes doot doot, doot doot, doot doot, but the two Commander 2s blink at the same time. I think we will leave the strobes running and the pull station in alarm, and we will come all the way over here to the Faraday pull station. Here we go. All right, that's all silenced. Let's reset the pull stations on this wall. This one is nice because it takes just a B key. There's the inside, nothing special. And then we'll come all the way over here to the Faraday. Put that in here. Nothing special in there. I used to have three of those chevrons and I was going to put my third one up for sale in my store, but I decided to give it, that's not where this goes, I decided to give it to one of my fire alarm buddies. Uh, he's the one who hooked me up with the two panels and stuff, so I was like, you know what, here's a little bit of a thank you. Reset that, and then we'll pull the firelight just because it's kind of cool that there's the strobe right above it so you can pull it and then see the strobe start to flash instead of the strobe already flashing. Um, I don't know, I think it's cool. Do do, do do, do do. I also want to put a pull station in the room behind the panel or like a test switch or something. And I want to put a test, like a, one of those duct detector switches like right here or something over here have something else. Um, I want to add a lot more devices. I just need modules. Like I want to definitely have at some point more than 10 devices on this, on this panel and spanning a good portion of the basement. Oh, why not? We hit exit. So we get a system normal. Zoop. It's a mess down here. So we're just gonna pretend like you don't see it. Look at that. I'm sorry, but it is 61 in February in Cleveland. What the heck is going on? It's too warm, we gotta evacuate the building. It's too warm, too warm. You know what actually I'm going to do? I got that extra B key. I'm going to throw it in the panel. And let's reset the pull station so you can see, you know, you pulled it. There's your alarm going off. Man, this test is getting long. Already at nine minutes. Still got both smoke detectors to test. And I'll be soloing both heads. So we'll wait, wait for the panel to restart. Doop doop, 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 doop doop. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. There we go. Get my can of Solo. If I can get the lid open. Alrighty, let's spray this detector. Probably didn't need that much. So 
So, uh, let's blow out this head. What's kind of cool, yeah, I know. Um, because this is a, uh, a two criteria head, basically. You see there's only one set of dip switches in there, yet it's putting out two addresses. So this came across as uh, 0.4, but if the heat detector goes off, it'll come across as 0.5. This base is a special base. That's why it took me so long to get this head up here. It's because, um, just lost my train of thought completely. Base address, right. Um, wow. You leave the first switch down, which makes it um, an even number. So you set it to whatever dress you want as long as it's an even number. And then you set the even number to the smoke, and then in the panel, you set the next number up, which is an odd number, as the heat. And then the panel or the, the base puts out two separate addresses. And that's how it does both smoke and heat. And then we're going to go in here. We're going to leave the panel in alarm. I kind of want to put like a ceiling strobe in here. Actually, you know what? I got those system sensor ones. Maybe I'll do that. Um, spray this commanders are loud in here really hear them clicking See the smoke detector M1 and M4 went into alarm. Blow out the head. Ah, oh, this one's higher up. Let's wait until the panel comes out of trouble. There we go. Alrighty. Wow, this is a really long wall test. Thank you guys, or simplex test. Thank you guys for sticking through with me. I did not mean for this test to get this long. <sighs> oh, that'd be cool if I ever get that thing up and running. And it, yes, it will be on the simplex panel, not the Silent Night panel. All right. I think we're going to stop the wall test there. Walk test. Panel test. Simplex test. Wow. None of those were right except for the last one. It's been a long day. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, have a wonderful day. Oh my gosh.